Canva just announced a ton of brand new features at their biggest event of the year, Canva Create. They seriously upped their game in a huge way with the addition of several tools that so many of us had been asking for. These new tools are definitely game changers, so I'm super excited to be able to bring this to you and show you the top seven new features that are my personal favorite that I think will be the most helpful for you as well. I'm saving the biggest and best one for last, so make sure to watch all the way to the end of the video and let's go ahead and jump in. So the first new feature that Canva announced is multiple formats and sizes all within one single project file. So before we could only add the same size to a project. So if I was working on something like this, like a presentation slide deck, I would have to stay within this exact size and aspect ratio within this project file. And if I wanted to create something in a new size, like let's say an Instagram post size or a Facebook post or a US letter size, I would have to then open a completely new project and work in a separate file for that. But now Canva's given us the ability to have all different sizes and formats all within the same project. So no more back and forth skipping around. We can simply just come here where we would normally click to add a page and then click this little add page type arrow. And this will bring up different options. So we can select if we want to add a doc to this presentation. Maybe we want to add a whiteboard or a social media post. So for instance, if I click social media, I can then select exactly the type of social media post I want to add. Maybe I want to do an Instagram story size. So when I click that, we can see it's right here next to my first page, which is totally different size. You also have the option to resize from a previous page. So if I come back here and click on page one, if I want to take this design and simply resize it to use it for something else, I can click the little three dots here and select resize page. Now you'll see this does have a little crown symbol beside it, which tells us this is a paid pro feature. So this feature is only available for those on the paid Canva pro plan. And if you don't have Canva pro yet, I've got a free 30 day trial in the video description box below so you can click on that and try it free for 30 days to see if you like these features that come with the paid pro plan. But when you click resize page, then you can choose the exact size that you want it to transform into. So let's choose this Instagram post size. And here is our Instagram post size. And now I'm going to come in here and just do a little bit more editing to make this look exactly like I want it to. And there I've got my brand new page in a different size all within this same project. Feature number two is also a huge one. And this is the introduction of Canva AI. Now Canva has had several AI tools available before this, but you could only find them in different places within the photo editor or clicking on dream lab. So now we've got this Canva AI button right here on the homepage and also here on the sidebar. So when we click on Canva AI, it gives us four different options here. We can click design for me, create an image, draft a doc or code for me. So when we click design for me, you can choose from what type of project you want it to use AI to design. So we could click on a social media post and from there, choose our exact format, let's say Facebook post, and then we're going to give it a prompt to describe the idea we have or what we want it to create for us. So I could say a promotion for 20% off my boho wall art print set, and then I want to click to generate. And here it's given me several different options for Facebook posts that reflect the prompt that I gave it. And then I can simply click on the one I like and click use in the Canva editor to continue editing further. Now, if we click create an image, this will be similar to what we've had with the AI image generator or dream lab where Canva will take our prompt and use AI to generate an actual image for us. We can click to draft a doc and then choose the type of document we want. We can draft a blog post, a summary. There's lots of different options here. So let's say I want to choose a blog post. I could say something like a blog post outlining the benefits of selling digital products online. And here is the beautifully formatted and ready to go blog post that it generated for me. So again, it already has all of the information based on the prompt that I gave it. But if I want to edit this further, I can click use in the Canva editor. And here I'll be able to change any text out that I want, change the fonts and the colors and make this look exactly the way I want it. Now this fourth option is code for me. Mine still says coming soon. So some of these features are gradually being rolled out, but when this is all rolled out, you'll have the ability to click on this and it actually uses AI to generate code for you. So this is truly groundbreaking because now you can generate custom tools for your website, presentations, documents, social posts, all without having to ever learn how to actually code yourself. So since I don't have it rolled out yet, I wanted to just show you this example that Canva gives of how it's going to work. So you can give it a prompt. This one says create an interactive drag and drop game where students arrange planets in order from the sun on the left, 
The planets need to be simple, glowing spheres with distinct colors. And then Canva's AI just whips this up and this is something that you can use. It's interactive, you can embed it on your website or use it wherever you want, simply by just giving Canva AI that prompt, tweaking however you see fit and letting it do the work generating that code for you. Pretty amazing. Now I feel like Canva AI could be a whole entire video just in and of itself. So if you'd be interested in a deeper dive tutorial on it, comment down below and let me know. And maybe that'll be something I'll create coming up. There are so many different ways you can use Canva, not only for personal use, but you can also create designs for digital products to sell online. So if you're interested in making some extra money working from home, selling digital products is one of the quickest and easiest ways to do it. So if you're like, Kate, I think that sounds really interesting, but I'm a total beginner. I have no clue how to even get started with something like that. Then I've got something for you that's gonna be super helpful. It's my free digital product starter guide. It has everything you need to know to get started growing and scaling a profitable digital products business from design tools you can use, to where to source graphic elements, to information like sizing and aspect ratio broken down and made really simple. So if you think that sounds like something that could be helpful for you, then definitely click the link in the video description box below after you watch this video to go ahead and grab that free download. All right, the next feature we're diving into is called Selection First Photo Editing. So Canva already had some pretty great photo editing options here when you're inside the editor working with an actual photo, but they've made it even better. So now you can just select your photo and come up here to this floating toolbar at the top to the edit button and then you're going to click on adjust and this is where you can start editing by first selecting the portion of the photo that you want to edit if you don't want to edit the whole photo only a portion you can select this click option and this will let you click on a single area of the image to adjust just that area so let's say i want to only adjust this computer screen when i have this selected i can then go over here on the left and use these sliders to change how it looks including the color temperature i can make it warmer or cooler I can change the tint, the brightness, so many different things I can do with this and see how it's only changing just the computer. It's not changing the background when I'm making these edits. Up here next to the click button, I also have options to select the entire foreground or the entire background. So let's say I want to adjust this wall in the background. I can then come to make those adjustments and you can see again how it's only adjusting the background as I'm doing that. It's not touching things like the computer, the mug, the keyboard. I want to show you how amazing this is on this other photo as well. I've got this really pretty image of these flowers against this purple background. But if I come and choose the foreground, which is going to select just these flowers that are in the front here I can make these brighter by increasing this brightness slider or I can change the color temperature on just those flowers there I can add shadows to these so lots of amazing things you can do here all right next we're moving on to the new feature called AI voice this is one where you're going to use AI to generate a voice to go with a video so here I've got just a stock video selected in my editor and I'm going to come over to the left where it says elements click under audio and here under voiceovers I'll see now the option that says add AI voice I can then enter the text that I want this voice to be speaking. So I've just put in digital products are the easiest and best way to get started making money online. And now I can select the voice I want. I can choose from all these different languages. And even within the same language, I have different options. So if I type in English, I've got options for English from Australia, English from the United Kingdom, or English from the United States. So let's see how one of these United States voices sounds. This is Carol. Digital products are the easiest and best way to get started making money online. Okay, here's Richard. Digital products are the easiest and best way to get started making money online. Now let's try the one from Australia and see how that one sounds. Let's try Brandon. Digital products are the easiest and best way to get started making money online. So when you found the one that you want, you're going to click generate voice. And this is going to actually add that audio to your video timeline. So down here in the bottom, we can see this little purple bit that's been added here that shows us the voice is here as our audio. And now if we click to play this video, it'll play both together. Digital products are the easiest and best way to get started started making money online. I absolutely love that tool. I think it's going to be super helpful. And I'm excited about this next one too, because this is also another new feature for videos. We've been asking for this for a while and Canva delivered. We can now add animated captions to our videos. These are going to be those karaoke style captions that are really trendy and popular right now, especially on social media. So when you've got your video 
video uploaded, then you're gonna come over to the left where it says text, and under where it says dynamic text, you're gonna choose captions. From the drop down menu, you're going to select the video that you have in your project, the one you want the captions for, and click generate captions. This is going to automatically generate captions that go along with what you're saying in the video. But now you can animate these. So we're gonna come up here and click animate on this top floating toolbar. And that'll bring over this toolbar to the left where we can then see under this new section that says captions, we've got three options for the different types of caption animations here. We've got reveal, highlight, and snake. So we're gonna select the one we want. I'm gonna choose highlight. And then if you have Canva Pro, you can change the intensity and the color of the highlight as well. So I can slide this to increase the intensity of it. And also let's say I wanna change this color. Maybe I want it to be a yellow highlight and I can see how that's gonna look here on my video. So now when I play my video, I've got these animated captions that automatically go with it. Instead of to sell on repeat over and over again without you having to lift another finger to fill, package, or ship any orders. This one is going to be so helpful for those of us who are creating any kind of video content. All right, next up, we've got new advanced text options. So there's a couple different advanced text options here that were not here before. The first one we're gonna talk about is kerning. So if you're not familiar with what kerning is, it's where you can actually adjust the spacing between two individual letters in a word. This is different than tracking. We had tracking before, so if you come up here to the spacing tool, you were and still are able to choose letter spacing. This is another name for tracking, but this is where if you increase this, it's going to automatically increase or decrease the space between all of the letters in your word. This is a little bit different than kerning because kerning only increases or decreases the spacing between two specific letters. So now we have this kerning ability. If we have text on our page and we have it selected, we can come up here to the top toolbar and hit this new button that says advanced formatting. We can click over to typography and we can see the kerning option here. So I'm going to toggle this on and you can watch this space between the K and the E. I can see here there's a little bit too much space for it to be aesthetically pleasing. I'd like to close in this space a little bit. So I'm going to toggle on this kerning option and it's going to automatically decrease that space there bringing it together. So I'm gonna to toggle it off again so you can see the difference here. That's without the kerning, and here it is with the kerning. Now we've also got this toggle called ligatures. This is for any text that you want to combine two of the letters to make it look a little more visually appealing. So I have this word effort because we have these two Fs here together, which doesn't look terrible, but I think it could definitely look better by combining these a little bit. So we're gonna have this selected and come up here again to typography under the advanced formatting option and toggle on ligatures and when I do that, watch these two Fs, they're gonna be combined together. And there it is, it's combined them together. So it makes it just a little more visually interesting. Again, I'll toggle this off so you can see what it was before. That's without the ligatures. And here it is with the ligatures. Now, if we come back over from typography to general, we'll see the ability for text position to change to superscript or subscript. So for instance, when we're typing out something like H2O, the two in the middle here should technically be showing as a smaller number two below the baseline of this text. That is called a subscript. So if we wanna make this two into a subscript, we can simply highlight it, come back up here to our advanced formatting and click subscript. There it makes our two formatted the right way as a subscript. We can do the same thing for a superscript. So if we had an equation or anything else, we needed a little number at the top, we can highlight the number we want, come up here again and click superscript and that's going to bring it up as our superscript. No more having to create separate text boxes and try to change the font size and merge it all together. Now we have this ability which makes it quick and easy. All right, moving on to our last feature we're gonna cover today. And like I said, this is probably the biggest one that Canva unveiled in my opinion and it's going to completely revolutionize how we create visual data in Canva. And this is Canva Sheets. We've all been waiting for the day that Canva would incorporate a spreadsheet option and that day is here. So from our Canva homepage, we can click here on the new option that says Sheet and this will take us into our Canva Sheets area where we can either choose a template to start from or just start from a blank spreadsheet. Now this is gonna work similar to any other spreadsheet that we're familiar with, whether we've used Excel or Google Sheets in the past, but there's a couple things that make Canva a little bit different and in my opinion, better, and that is that number one, it's a visual first spreadsheet software. So Canva doesn't 
doesn't want just the data, although that's important, they gave us the ability to also make it visually appealing and interesting. And secondly, it integrates AI to make this super easy even for beginners. So let me show you a little bit of what you can do when you come up here to actions. You can choose this first option that says generate table. This is where you can have it use its AI ability to automatically generate something for you. So let's say we want a content calendar. Now this is going to give us a little prompt to start off with, which we can use, or we can tweak this to reflect what we want. This is creating a one month content calendar template, outlining the day, marketing channel, topic, headlines that start with emojis, and anything else a great content calendar includes. I'm just gonna add here at the end for a digital product business and click generate. And here it's generating a whole month's content calendar for me. So I don't even have to put thought into this. It's gonna simply use AI to generate this for me. And when it's done, I can either tweak this and make it a little bit different, or if I'm happy with it, I can click to insert it into my spreadsheet and there it is right there in my sheet. Now let's say we wanna take this a step further and make it a little more visual. We can come back up to actions and click on magic charts. And this is going to show us here some suggestions for different visual charts we might wanna to use to represent this data. There are lots of different actions we can take. There are so many different things we can do. Actually, this could probably be its own hour long tutorial video. So that might be a good idea for the future. So comment down below and let me know if that would be something you'd be interested in. But for now, I just wanna give you an overview and a little look at all of the features here that you can use with these Google Sheets. So those are my seven picks for the top new Canva features that they just released. Don't forget to click the links in the description box below to try out Canva Pro for free for 30 days and also to grab your free digital product starter guide in case you're interested in starting to use Canva to create digital products to sell online and make money working from home. Happy designing friend!